You've seen the headlines. Uber <coughs> fires employees over sexual harassment investigation. Accusations of stolen technology, criminal probe, the CEO stepping down. It's been a tough few years for the ride-sharing company. Well, now its competitor Lyft is cashing in on those losses. It's the fastest growing ride-share service in the U.S. with 30% of the market. Look at these numbers. In 2016, Lyft gave more than 162 million rides. That's three times more than in 2015. Growth this year is up 142 percent. But the company's president, John Zimmer, is staying humble. Recently, you've told the people here, don't gloat. Yeah, I think it's important. Look, anything that's happening with a competitor doesn't have an impact on our drivers, our passengers, and the people here. And to think it all started with just a couple dozen employees working for what was then known as Zimride. Lyft now has more than 700,000 drivers. Both Uber and Lyft are working on self-driving cars, but Zimmer wants to go even further. We think that in a few years you'll be subscribing to a miles plan on Lyft the way you were subscribed to a minutes plan on AT&T or Verizon or T-Mobile. You've already disrupted the taxi industry. Are you going to up against the automobile industry in a way now as well? We're really focused on the customer and what customers want and providing that experience. If that means we can provide a better experience than the alternative, then we're gonna do that. Uber is working on its experience for passengers and drivers. It's added a tipping feature, it says, to empower passengers and to boost driver pay.